is. So we are here. It's Monday morning. Let's go ahead and get started. Come into a comfortable seat, relaxed seated position. So I've heard from some of you too, use some props if you need here. Use a pillow or something so there's no discomfort. I know sometimes sitting down takes a minute. So take a moment to find your comfortable seat with a long spine. And as we prepare for the journey, we remind ourselves that the breath is our guide and we listen to the breath for the cues. So I'll, I'll give the reminders and my request is that you continue to uh, work with your breath through the practice. I'll give those cues. And I want you to listen more and more to the breath. It speaks its own language. If you're hearing a lot of mental chatter, see if you can go beyond that into the breath. How am I breathing? Is my breath full and deep? If not, then maybe you can you go often go deeper into poses to kind of find that edge. The breath will be our guide for the next hour or so. Let's go ahead and get started with some breathing exercises. Bring the hands together at heart level to begin. And we'll take an inhale through the nose. Arms are coming up and out, holding the breath. Kumba breath retention here. Hold the breath out momentarily, pointing the fingers down, palms away. And then exhale, hands to heart up. Good, here we go. Inhale, let's do it again. Up and out. So the breath from the very beginning is our first step. Hold it. And then slowly exhale, hands back to heart level. Once again, inhale, up and out. Holding breath, fingers down, palms out. Maybe a little bit longer on the hold here. And exhale, hands Heart level, release the left hand, right hand to the belly, little belly breathing in the warm up. Inhale, push the belly out, push, push, push the belly out on the inhale. And then exhale, suck the belly back towards the spine. Good, two more. Inhale, belly out, push it out. Yeah. And then exhaling, pulling the belly back towards the spine, just building the muscle of the breath and the belly. One more time. Inhale, push the belly. Push, push, push it out. And then exhale, pull the belly back towards the spine. Beautiful, we'll move to full yogic breaths. Two hands onto the belly. On the inhale, belly pushes out. Suck the belly up and in. It's like a technique, expand the ribs, keep breathing, expand the upper chest, all the way to clavicle breathing. And then exhale, slowly trace the hands across the chest, ribs and belly as the breath slowly releases. Do it again. Inhale, push the belly out. Suck the belly up. Expand the ribs, expand the chest. Clavicle breathing, full and complete yogic breath, and slowly take it down, releasing the breath. Last one. Inhale, push the belly out. Suck the belly in. Expand the ribs, keep breathing into the upper chest clavicle breathing and slowly take the hands down yes warming up the breath we'll do kapalavati release both hands the skull shining breath it's a forceful exhalation followed by a passive inhalation pulling the belly back towards the spine now on the exhalations let's move together take an inhale and exhale let's begin exhale Exhale, 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 keep going, exhale. Tension. Take an inhale, half lung of air. Lift the chest, drop the chin, hold the breath in, engaging perineum, pull the shoulders up towards the ears. Kumba breath retention, holding the prana in the organism. And when you're ready, slowly release the locks, slowly release the breath. Gazing now, inner eye, space between the brow, allowing the mind to become quiet momentarily. And let's do it again on the breath hold. Inhale, 
can swallow as you begin to hold the breath, lift the chest, drop the chin, engage the perineum, pull the shoulders up. Once again, gazing into the center of the eyebrows. Holding breath in, Kumba breath retention. As you're ready, release the locks, release the breath. Allow the eyes to come open. We'll bring the prana into the eyes here. Eyes are open, chin is parallel, moving only the eyes on my cue. Inhale, on the exhaling breath, look down, look up, look down, look up, look down, look up, center. Another inhale, on the exhaling breath, look far right, far left, far right, far left, far right, far left, center. Another inhale, exhaling breath, look down, far right, look up, far left, down, center. Another inhale, Exhaling breath, look down, far left, look up, far right, look down, center. Instead of stretching the eyes, we're going to focus the eyes, chatakam. So bring the arm up, shoulder height, finger in line with the eyes, gazing onto the fingertip, no blinking. Slowly start to bend the elbow, bring the finger in towards the nose, and then slowly extend the arm back out. When you've come to full extension, gaze beyond, resting the eyes momentarily, and let's do it again. Focusing on the finger, no blinking, moving slowly, fingertip in the direction of the eye and the nose, and then slowly extending all the way back out. Gaze beyond, and let's do it one more time. Focusing the eyes, bending the elbow, fingertip to nose, slowly, nose, and then back all the way out, full extension. Good job. And then we'll bring the hands together, bring some heat, some prana. Get them going, good warm. Shake them up. Yeah, and then right hand over the right eye, left hand over the left eye, palming of the eyes, no light coming in. My breath here is slow and steady. Bathing the rods and the cones of the retina, the healing energy of our hands and fingers. Nice inhalation, nice steady, relaxed exhalation. And then let's release, interlace the fingers, press the palms away, stretching the arms overhead. Elbows are straight here. Air passing the epiglottis in the back of the throat. Ujjayi ocean breath here. So the breath makes the sound of a wave. Steady inhalation. Full and complete exhalation. Let's release the hands. Right hand touches the palm to the left. Turn the fingertips down and interlace the fingers. Roll the arms in and over to your degree. Continuing to breathe yoga for the fingers, yoga for the wrists, the elbows, opening up the meridians in the arms. And let's release. To the other side, left over right. Interlace the fingers, roll the arms again to your degree. Keep a smile on the face. Stretching the arms and fingers here. Mm. And let's release. Legs out in front, bring the yoga into our toes. So extend the legs out in front. Dandasan, this is a staff position. So the spine is tall. Once again, you can get your hands a little bit behind your hips or you can go palms facing down here just to keep the upright position. Calves and heels are on the mat, moving only the toes. Toe cramps, let's squeeze the toes for one release, two release, three release, four release, five release, six hold and release. Right over left, just like we did with the fingers, we're gonna do with the toes, interlacing. Pinky toe, second toe, maybe third toe to your degree here. Eventually fourth toe and big toe squeeze yoga for the toes, waking up the meridians and the toes, the ankles, all the way up into the hips, squeezing the toes. And let's release, do the same thing on the other side. Left over right, interlace pinky, second, maybe third, Going for the fourth toe, the big toe. 
smiling on the face, using only our concentration to wake up the toes and the ankles and the nerves of the legs, squeezing the toes. And let's release Leave the calves and the ankles on the floor. We're doing ankle rotations. Forward, one, release, two, release, three, release, four, release, five, release, six, hold. Clockwise for one, two, three, four, five, six, reverse, one, two, three, four, five, six. Beautiful. Coming up to the knees here. Interlace the elbows underneath the left knee, right leg is straight, sit tall, lift the breast bone. We'll go for rotating one, two, three, four, five, six, and switch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Warming up the knees, opposite side. Grab the elbows, lift the chest, go for one, two, three, four, five, six, and switch. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Beautiful. Coming up to the front of the mat, warming up, going into the quads here. Right heel into the perineum. Left leg goes back, move the fleshy part of the calf here to our degree with a smile on the face. Listen to the breath. We're still warming up here. If you have the privilege to open up that thigh, you can start to walk the hands backward. Listening to the body and the breath as you go, perhaps coming to the elbows. If that's available to you this morning, keep breathing. If possible, top of the head on the mat. If possible, lay the spine flat. Arms come all the way overhead. My breath is slow and steady. Purposeful inhalations, steady, relaxed exhalations. Keep that front knee down, going down towards the mat. Mm, can let out an audible sigh or a deep exhale. Uh, whatever feels good. And then inhale, elbows. Exhale, come on up. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Left heel in, right leg back. To your degree, listening to your body weight comes slightly back, opening the front of the leg, perhaps to the elbows, perhaps to the back of the head. Maybe the spine lays flat, grabbing opposite elbows on top. Let that sigh out if it feels good and then catch some full and complete inhalations and exhalations, please. Uh, we'll inhale, elbows, exhale, come on up. We're going to come all the way into our standing position. Feet are together, fingertips are facing down, building some heat and prana into our living room here. We're going to let the air flow. You might hear the stream and the the rain out there, so I'll do my best to project. And in the meantime, we have a nice relaxing sound to move through our practice. Fingertips down, let's allow the eyes to close. And even though it's a cloudy day, we are grateful, grateful to, for the sun. We know it's there and shining, visualizing maybe a beautiful sunset you saw this weekend. Saffron glow going down on the horizon, lighting up all those clouds, or the ocean, the mountain. Just grateful for our personal connection to this amazing bright star in our universe, bringing life force energy into our bodies and into the earth. Grateful, grateful for the sun. Doing Surya Namaskar together, 12 poses, moving with the breath, allow eyes to come open. Take a deep inhale, exhale, hands come to meet, heart level. Inhale, arms up, press the feet, look up, reach up, arms are coming up, there's a backward bend in this, weight comes slightly into the heels, keep breathing, and on an exhaling breath, fold, hinge slowly forward, placing the hands perhaps to the floor, fingertips in line with the, to with the toes, just out wide. Maybe if you can't reach there, that's okay. Place to the ankles or the shins. But both knees press back evenly. The backs of the legs are lengthening as the tailbone comes to the sky. It's our first stretch of the morning. Key to this pose is my breath. My breath is slow and steady. Let the weight of the head hang heavy. 
You've got a beautiful mango season right now. Let your head feel like it's kind of just hanging softly from the tree. Let the weight of that head go if you want to nod it or release it a little bit. Pull it in back. Just let it blow in the wind. You have the privilege to press your palms down. You can press your palms to the floor. If you're open into your palms, you can always turn the hands around, bending the elbows, bringing the front side of the body even closer to the shins and thighs. Stay with the breath. And let's together bend our knees, take the left leg back, left knee down, fourth posture, Ashwashan Shalanasan. Lunge the hips forward, keep the front knee moving towards midline, peel the arms back, chest is up, gazing onto the ceiling, pressing into the rear foot and knee as the hips sink down, listening to the breath. Let your breath be your guide. No strain in the breath. And let's place the hands in front. Cup the back toes. Right leg coming back. Hip distance. Arms shoulder distance. Parvokanasana. This is mountain pose. First one of the morning. Activate the fingers and palms. Drawing inner elbows towards one another, chin in the direction of the chest, make space between the shoulder blades as we lengthen the intercostalis muscles, the rib cage. Getting long tailbones pulling, pulling the tailbone up to the sky. You may notice one knee wants to press back more than the other, press both knees back evenly. You may notice one heel wants to press down to the earth more than the other. Press both heels down evenly. My breath is full and complete, deep and steady. Inhalation, mindful exhalations. On your next exhaling breath, slowly drop the knees to the floor, send the heart right between the thumbs. Elbows up here, Ashtanga Namaskar, extend the neck long in front, two feet, two knees, two hands, chest and chin to the floor, gazing out at the nostrils, Nasakara Mudra, my breath is steady here, audible inhalations and exhalations please as the shoulder blades peel up towards one another. Let's point the toes, press the hips, place the hands, pressing the palms up, Bhujangasana Cobra. If you've got a neck or a back injury, you can place the elbows in line with the shoulders. Even if you're just warming up, you can try this pose instead. So Cobra or Sphinx, lift the chest, gaze up towards the ceiling once again, point the toes, engage the thighs so much that the kneecaps lift off the mat. Press the hips down. Slowly, let's come back to mountain pose. Place the hands in line with the shoulders. Turn the tops of the toes. Tailbone coming up towards the sky. Once again, Parvokanasana, mountain pose. We got this pose in the West, we call it downward facing dog. In the Himalayas, yogis have the same pose. Parvokanasana, body shaping like a mountain here. Tailbone keeps lifting, engage the palms, engage the heels, activate the fingers, chin in the direction of the chest. Left foot forward, right knee down, Ashwashan Shalanasana on the other side. Hinge, lunge from the hips, left knee coming in, chest is lifting, arms are pulling back. Activate that rear foot, gaze up. No strain in the lungs. Listen to your breath. And let's place the hands in line with the front foot. 
Exhaling breath, right comes to meet the left. Body starting to warm up a little bit here, so back to the legs, perhaps coming longer. Maybe the elbows are starting to bend as you pull, pull the front side of the body in towards the thighs and shins. Remembering to breathe. Place the hands, press the feet, inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands, heart level, release the palms to the sides, and we'll do it all again on the other side. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, hands, heart level. Inhale, rise up, lift up. Exhale, hinge and fold. And inhale and grab the right knee back. Lifting the chest, pulling the arms back. Ashwashan Shonasana. I freeze. Maybe you gotta freeze. Oh no, we're back. Here we go. Alright, we're in the middle there. Nothing happened. Right leg's back. Got my computer's waking up. Tara's got her right knee back. She's opening her <laughs> chest. My computer's talking to us, but we're still in the pose. All right, let's place the hands all the way forward from here, right leg, hands in front, the left leg back, mountain pose. Place the hands, press the heels, lift the tail. Knees, chest and chin down towards the floor, elbows up, neck extended. And then inhale, Bhujangasana, Cobra. Exhale, Mountain Pose. Right leg forward, left knee down, Ashwashanshanasana, lift the chest. Place the hands, exhaling breath, left leg forward, backs of the legs are long, palms together, inhale, rise up, exhale. Hands to heart level, releasing the palms. Ah, visualizing now, perhaps, the last crescent moon. We're moving past the third quarter moon to a waning moon right now. Visualizing a beautiful, beautiful crescent moon. The Chandra is the Sanskrit for the moon. Grateful to the moon for the way it controls our mind. We're dedicating these moon salutations to making the mind our best friend. Learning to make the mind the best friend on the yoga mat. Grateful, grateful for the moon and its activation of our mind and the fluids of our body. Grateful, grateful to this amazing moon. Eyes coming open, changing only fourth and ninth postures. Take a deep inhalation. Exhale, hands, heart level. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold forward. Left leg back, left knee down, hands together, heart level. Inhale, arms come up, facing in the direction of a crescent moon, pulling the arms up. Lunge to the hips, keep that front knee coming towards midline. Soften the front toes, press the rear heel and foot as the gaze comes all the way to the ceiling. No strain in the lungs, listening to the breath. And then placing the hands, it's cupping the back toes, right leg back into Parvokanasana, the mountain pose, activating hands and feet, evenly lifting the tail. Chin direction of the chest. Keep breathing. Drop knees, chest, and chin on an exhalation. Elbows up. And then point the toes. Press the hips. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhale, Mountain Pose. Left foot forward. Right knee down. Inhale, arms all the way overhead. Crescent moon position. So again, lunge into the hips. 
Send the hips down as the arms come up. Keep that front knee coming towards midline and listen to your breath. Place the hands in front. Right leg comes to meet the left. Backs of the legs are long. Forehead coming in the direction of the shins. You can once again bend those elbows, pulling the body in to the forward fold. Keep breathing. And press the feet, palms together. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands, heart level. Release the palms to the sides. And we'll do Chandra Namaskar, salutation to the moon on the other side. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, hands, heart level. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold forward. Right leg back. Right knee down, palms together, inhale, overhead, crescent moon. Place the hands, cup the back toes, left leg back, mountain pose on an exhaling breath. Knees, chest, and chin at the back of the exhalation, elbows up, point the toes, press the hips, lift the chest, look up, bhujangasana. Turn the back of the toes. Tailbone to the sky, mountain pose. Right leg forward, left knee down, palms together. Inhale, coming all the way up. Place the hands, exhaling breath, left to meet the right. Backs of the legs are long. Press the feet, palms together. Inhale, exhale, hands, heart level. Release the palms, momentarily closing the eyes. Listen to the sound of your beautiful breath and breathing. You can feel the heart beating, vibrations and emanations of prana flowing out, capillaries of the fingertips and toes. You can feel the skull vibrating. There's prana, life force energy circulating through the body. Grateful, grateful for this amazing circulation. So allow eyes to come open. We'll start our first pose. Chair pose. Arms coming all the way overhead. Take a deep inhale, lengthen the elbows. Look up and on an exhaling breath, sit the butt back. Butt and tail go back. Keep bending the elbow, bending the knees. Sit down a little bit further in the weight. Evenly into the feet. If you're capable, you can start to lift, lift the toes up. Chest is lifted, gaze is up towards the fingers. Let's hold for three, keep breathing. Two and one, come on, all the way up. Release the hands to the sides. Do we got in, arms coming all the way overhead, lengthen the backs of the legs. Nice, easy counter pose in the fold here. Backs of the legs come a little longer here. Stay with the breath in the fold, please. Chest and forehead coming down towards knees and shins. Arms are pulling up towards the sky. All right, exhaling breath, let's release. Coming all the way to standing pose. We'll move through the chair series, hands together at heart level. Bring some prana into the stomach. Twisted chair, take a deep inhalation. On an exhalation, sit the butt and tail back, bring the outer edge of the left arm, tricep in contact with the edge of the right thigh. Hands in prayer position, turn the head and neck to the right. Keep breathing there, keep the butt down, keep the belly button coming across. If there's room, you can look down for balance, get the left hand going, left fingertips in line with the floor, touching to the floor in line with the front left toes. Right hand coming up to the ceiling, keep breathing. Slow and steady breath, gaze comes towards the ceiling, opening the chest space for three, two, one, and let's release, hands come back to heart level. Twisted chair on the other side, deep inhale. Exhale, sit the button tail back, outer edge of the right tricep coming all the way over. Catches in line with the edge of the left thigh, head and neck come in line with one another. Towards right side wall, keep those knees together, keep the butt down. Belly button across if there's room, look down. 
Right hand in line with the right toes, left hand, line of energy from right fingertips to left, opening the front side of the chest, twisting across the belly. Keep breathing, let's hold for three, two, one, and back to center. Hands at heart level, release your hands to the side. So we did our chairs, it's going to be a beautiful breakfast here, we need a table. Arms coming all the way overhead. Straighten the elbows, so again, you can bring hands together in a steeple or release the palms, take a deep inhale, exhale, fold forward. So we're going for a flat back here, hinging from the hips, extending the arms out in front of us, drop the belly, or lift the belly, drop the chest, looking down about four feet in front of you, bring the weight out of the heels slightly. Soften the toes, extend the fingertips, line of energy from the tailbone out through the fingertips for three, two, keep breathing, one, and hands to heart level. We'll do balance pose, bend both knees, extend the right leg up, straighten the left leg, press the heel towards the back wall, toes towards the floor. If you've got a neck or a back injury, keep your arms where they're at. If you'd like, you can go ahead and extend the arms all the way out in front. Line of energy now from the rear heel out through the fingertips. Keep breathing, gaze is down, eyes are open, breath is steady. And then hands to heart level. You can bend the left knee a little bit if you need. We'll take the left hand down to the floor, about a foot in front, maybe a little bit to the side. We're gonna try half moon here. So straighten the left leg, press the rear heel, bring the right hand onto the hip. Start there. If there's room, you can turn the head and the neck to the right. Start to create some opening. You can bring the right hand all the way up towards the ceiling. This is half moon position. Breathing slowly and steadily. If there's room, bend the right knee. You can Bend the left knee if you need also to. Grabbing on, straightening that left leg again. One. Working hard here, keep breathing. Start to kick the, rear, the right heel away from the buttocks. You can gaze up towards the ceilings if they're room. Beautiful. And let's slowly release. I'm out of variations on that one this morning. Trying hard. Bringing some new pieces in. Beautiful half moon sequence. We got the heat moving in here. Let's go ahead and keep that door open. Let the prana circulate through the living room. We're gonna do the same sequence, balance, left and right hemispheres of the body. Balance pose now on the other side. Hands together at heart level, straighten the right leg, left heels coming up and back. Beautiful. If there's no injuries, extend the arms out in front. Press the rear heel, point the toes towards the floor. Line of energy from the rear heel all the way out through the fingertips. Breath is steady for five, four, three, two, one. We'll go hands at heart level, right hand down. Bend this right knee if you need, and then straighten it. So about a foot in front, a little bit wide. You can keep the left hand to the hip and just look down if you need and work from there. If there's room, you can turn your head and neck. That'll create some opening in the chest and change the balance point. If there's room, you can lift that left hand up to the ceiling. It's like stacking the hips here. Beautiful. For three, two, one. Bend the left knee. Let the left hand grab it. You can bend the right knee too if you need to find it. Then straighten the right leg and then kick the left foot away from the left butt. Start to open up and gaze towards the ceiling. For three, two, one. Let's come out. Whoo, shake it out. Feet mat distance apart here. We'll do the tree in a hurricane. Right hand grabs to the left wrist. Take a deep inhale on the exhaling breath. Take that left hip way out. Keep breathing. Right shoulder slightly forward. Gaze up towards the left. Get the hip out a little further. 
Hold for three, keep breathing. Two, one, and switch. Left grabs right, inhale, exhale. Right hip comes out, left shoulder forward, gazing towards right armpit. Breathing through the side body stretch best we can for three, two, one. Come all the way up. Feet mat distance apart, building some prana. Heartbeat is up. Feels good. Told you it was going to be vigorous this morning. We're going to stay with it. Elbows back. Uh, feet hip distance apart. Take a deep inhalation and then exhale fold. We're coming down. Place the hands, padahastasan, two feet. For some of us that means hands to shins. For others it might mean hands to ankles. Some of us have the privilege to place the fingertips under the toes. Others have the privilege to place the whole palm underneath the feet. Wherever you're at, press the knees back evenly, straighten the legs, lift the tail. Where the head hangs heavy, forehead comes in the direction of the shins. Once again, if you'd like to bend the elbows a little bit and start to pull, pull the body forward, the breath, a beautiful breath is slow and steady. Padahastasan, hands, two feet, position. And then let's grab big toes, slowly release that pose. Peace fingers to the big toes, tailbone coming forward, gaze is up towards the front wall, perhaps all the way to the ceiling, a little stretch in the cervical spine for three, keep breathing, two, and release, brace the hands, walk the feet back, we're coming all the way back to Parvokanasana, this is mountain pose. Go ahead and bend the right knee, press the left heel down towards the mat. Bend the left knee, press the right heel down toward the mat. Extend both knees evenly, pressing both heels down toward the mat. Let's keep the right heel down, left leg's gonna lift up towards the sky, lift the belly button. Engage the right arm, press the right heel towards the mat, lift that left leg a little bit higher. Inhale, and then exhale, left foot all the way forward. Outer edge of the back foot turns in slightly, lunging into the hips. As we lunge, we get this front thigh to drop a little bit more in the direction of parallel. Stay there. Now right hip forward, hands together at heart level. Arms coming all the way overhead, right shoulder in line with left. Keep breathing, keep the back foot down. Keep front knee moving towards midline. Listen to the sound of the breath. Deep inhale and exhaling breath. We're gonna open it up and switch. Make a little more room in that back foot so the hips can open, but once again, as we lunge to the front foot, front thigh comes in the direction of parallel to the ground, arms parallel to the ground, gazing out towards front fingertips, activating the rear arm, sinking a little further. My breath is beautiful and steady. Virabhadrasan two, warrior two, position. Deep inhale on an exhaling breath, right hand comes to meet the left. Body shapes like a diagonal here. Extend those arms. Advaya Virabhadrasan. Let's hold this for three. Keep breathing. Smile at the shake in the leg for two, one, and good morning. Left hand to the floor, right hand to the sky. Extended warrior. Nice opening in the front of the chest. Head and neck can turn to the ceiling if there's room. Open that right hand to the low back for your bind. Stay active in the feet. Waking up the legs here. Mm, heart lifting towards the sky. And then let's release. Place the hands. Drop the back knee. Heel toe. Kondinyasa. Left foot all the way off the mat. Place the left hand like a push up. Tricep in contact with inner thigh. Right hands in line with the left. 
walk that left foot wide, 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 and then start to bring the body forward, look down in front, slightly off the mat, get the right elbow in contact with the thigh, lift the left foot, maybe lift the rear knee, keep breathing, start to lift the rear toe, play with it maybe, A is for attempt, Kondinyasa, arm balancing and slowly come back to your mat, back to the earth, knees greater than hip distance apart, balasan, child's pose. If possible, buttocks to the heels, if possible, forehead to the floor. If not possible, grab a pillow and rest your forehead. Mm, and let's catch up with that beautiful beating heart once again chest region, the oracles and the ventricles of the heart pumping blood all the way to the extremities of the body. Grateful for this amazing circulation system of blood and fluids throughout the body. You can feel into your two beautiful lungs. The lungs are ventilating, cooling the body, bringing in fresh Oxygen and prana circulating through the body, expelling any waste products, natural purification and detoxification of the body. Grateful, grateful for these two beautiful lungs. And inhaling breath, we'll rise up and work to balance the body left and right, meeting together in mountain pose. Placing the hand, shoulder distance, feet hip distance. This time we'll keep the left heel down, right leg coming up, activating the left elbow, pressing the left heel down towards the mat. Belly button lifting towards the sky. Inhale, lift that left foot, the right foot a little bit further. And then exhale, right foot all the way forward. Take a moment to get your feet and then inhale, come all the way up. Front foot facing forward, back foot turned in around 10, 20 degrees. Get that right hip coming forward, lunge into the hips a little further, hands together at heart level, arms coming all the way up. Left shoulder in line with the right, sink the hips, pull, pull the arms up towards the sky. Virabhadrasana one, warrior one position. Keep breathing. Deep inhalation, exhalation, we're gonna open up. Ma uh, <laughs> Virabhadrasan two, warrior two position. Again, as I sink, this bottom of this front thigh wants to come in parallel to the floor, arms parallel to the floor, gazing out the middle finger, activate the rear arm, smile on the face, becoming a warrior. Virabhadrasan two, warrior two position. Deep inhalation, on the exhale, left arm comes forward, body shapes diagonal, pin the back foot. Keep the belly off the thigh, extend the arms, advise us, fearless. Let's hold for three, breathing for two, one, and right hand to the floor, left hand to the sky, opening the front side of the chest, line of Energy from right fingertips to left. If there's room here, go ahead, open that left hand to the low back, opening up the chest even further. Heart coming up to the sky, active in the feet, waking up the legs here for three, two, one. Drop the back knee, place the hands, kondinyasa. Arm balancing positions here. So make some space, get that right foot nice and wide. Right tricep in contact with the inner right thigh. The left hand comes down, body shapes like a push up here. The left thigh in contact with inner left tricep. The right foot up, get the rear knee up. Maybe tippy toe, gaze slightly forward. And try your bats. Beautiful. Come on down to meet. Balasan, the child's pose. Grateful, grateful for these practices and grateful for the organs, 
in the body, we go with the, the brain, we're grateful to the brain and the nervous system, the feelings, senses, the synapses and the neurons of the brain, bringing the intellect and the intelligence into the body. Going to the brain stem and the entire spine, beautiful spine, the central nervous system, all the way down into the sacrum, very base of the tailbone. Grateful, grateful for this amazing neurological miracle inside of our body. High functioning nervous system. Beautiful brains inside of our body. So grateful for the brain and the nervous system. Okay, on inhaling breath, let's rise up. And then on exhale, let's lay down. We're going to do a little bit of a backward bending from here. So we'll bring the belly down. We'll take the feet a little bit uh, off the mat almost, kind of mat distance in the back. And we're going to bring the elbows in line with the shoulders like we're going to do sphinx. If you feel like you'd like to get a little support in your chin, you can kind of play with it. So it's, it's a little bit more of a passive backward bend here. Okay, feet are wide, yeah, good. So yeah, you can stay in a sphinx if this is comfortable for you. Or if you want to bring your elbows down to the pointed elbows, you can rest the neck, opening up the front side of the neck. So nice, sort of relaxed backward bend. We're going to do a little bit of warming up from here. Let's hold this for three, two, one, and release. Let's bring the uh, feet back onto the mat. We're going to release the front side of the chest down, chin down. We'll bring the right heel into the buttocks, left heel into the buttocks. We're going to take the left hand back to grab the left foot. Right hand grab to grab the right foot. Do a little bit of bow pulling pose here. So take a deep inhale, fill the lungs, and as you do, lift the thighs, kick the feet, open the front of the chest, peel the shoulders, to look up, holding here, keep breathing. On an inhaling breath, we're gonna come out over to the left side, maybe a little bit of rock, maybe all the way over. Kick the right foot, open the right shoulder, for three, two, one. Inhale, back to center, a little rock, we got this. And let's try the other side, inhale down, over to the right, kick that left foot. That feels good. All right, and then come all the way back. And release, coming down. You can make a pillow with the hands. Turn the head to one side. Relax, flop the ankles, let them relax to the sides. Ah, nice deep breath. And turn the head to the opposite side, stretching the neck and head evenly. All right, let's bring the hands in line with the shoulders and we'll roll back a little bit. We're gonna come all the way into a squat from here. So just come back, and then we'll come to meet in our easy squat in the, back of the po in the back of the mat. Hands together at heart level, momentarily pressing elbows into knees, knees into elbows, and we'll release the left hand down, right hand up to the sky, a little front side opening, a little twist here for three, two, one, you can try your bind, and then let's return hands to heart level. We'll switch other side, right hand down, left hand up. Try your bind if you'd like for three, two, one. Release, hands come back in front. We'll release the hands in front. We'll go to our arm balancing, bakasan, flowing right into crow from here. Hands are shoulder distance apart. Press the knees into the backs of the triceps. Lift the butt up. Gaze forward. A is for attempt, giving it a whirl here, maybe lifting one foot and the other. If you'd like to vary into your headstand from here, you may. Top of the head goes flat to the floor, pressing the palms evenly in the tripod stance. If you're still working through Bakasana, I'd like to see you give two, maybe three attempts if you need to rest in child's pose. 
you may. If you're up into your headstand, you'd like to try some variations. We can try wide legs. We can extend, we can work on our splits from here. Trusting the body only if we're safely up in these directions. Again, otherwise, if we'd like to maybe try our way into our headstand, once again, trying our crow first. See if we can maybe hop one foot and the other. Get that head down. And even if you stay in like a little triangle, you're going to get a lot of the benefit of the headstand. For some of us, this is going to be our headstand just right here, and that's my variation today. Others, maybe knees come in and come up. And we got everyone at their own degree. If you're a headstand, you want to come out, press the knees once again into the triceps. See if you can come up through your crow position. Beautiful. And let's turn around and come ultimate in our fish pose. Beautiful. Having fun with the arm balances, having a little fun with the inversions. As the body warms up, we've got a little bit more freedom to try some poses. Heels are together here, fish pose. You can turn the head and neck from side to side momentarily. Point the toes away, bring the hands underneath the side body. Press the elbows down. And then inhale, press to the elbows, lift the chest, top of the head flat to the floor. Point the toes, take the lower set of teeth past the upper set of teeth. Matsyan Jasin, fish pose. Slowly release that neck, release the arms out from underneath us. Then once again, turn the head and neck from side to side. Let's bring the right heel in towards the right buttock. We'll do a little bit more backward bending. We'll start with Sechu Bandhasa in the bridge pose. Palms press down, press evenly to the feet, lift the button tail. If there's room, bring the chin in the direction of the chest, peel your shoulder blades underneath you, interlacing the fingertips. We do this pose often, so go into your degrees. Let the breath be steady in the back bend. Listen to your body. If this is comfortable and you'd like to go to the next stage, you can release your palms out from underneath you. Fingertips in line with the shoulders, pressing the palms down, come to the top of the head, keep the elbows in, keep the knees in, press the hands, press the feet evenly. If there's room, come to the tops of the toes, start to walk the feet in towards your buttocks. Chakrasing wheel position. And slowly, let's come all the way down. Trying some variations, if that's what feels good in your living room this morning, listening to your body as we go. Releasing the palms, releasing the ankles. Take a steady, mindful breath in. Take a nice, long, slow, deep exhalation. Stay with that pace of breath, connecting your breath the movement of your heart, consciously and willfully slowing down the rate of your heart. Next, inhaling breath, let's bring the knees in the direction of the chest. We'll do some rocking, so that's an inhale, squeeze, exhale, rock, inhale, squeeze, yeah, and try a few. Inhale back. You can extend the legs a little bit, whatever feels good. Try a few. Inhale back. And then exhaling all the way forward. Do some forward folding from here. Extend the heels out in front. Toes pointing up to the sky. Dandasan staff position. So move the fleshy part of your buttocks away. Sit tall. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Hands to feet if there's room, perhaps just to the shins or knees, whatever feels comfortable for you. You can grab to the edges of the feet and grab on top of the toes. Most important here is our breath. Our breath is slow and steady. 
belly button extending in the direction of the, sh of the thighs, forehead coming down in the direction of the shins. Keep breathing. Extend the arms, inhale, come all the way up, exhale, heart level, release the palms, feet or hip distance apart. We're going to do some spinal twisting, so feet or hip distance apart, bring the right hand past the line of symmetry behind you, one to two feet, left hand over to the right thigh, a nice, gentle, easy twist, stay with your breath, look up over your right shoulder if there's room, you can drop the right elbow to the floor. Holding a twist, breathing for three, two, one, and let's release. Go do the same thing on the other side. Left hand past the line of symmetry. Keep the toes pointing up towards the sky. Right hand to the left thigh. Left elbow down only if there's room. Keep looking up over that left shoulder. Twisting to your degree for three, two, one, and let's release. Instead of twisting the spine, we're going to hold the spine in place. Navasana, the boat pose. Lift the, knee, lift the feet off the floor. You can keep the knees bent if you need to. Otherwise, straighten the arms. You can keep the arms to the legs if you need. Otherwise, extend the arms. Body shaping like a V. Like we're going down the stream together here. Gazing right between the big toes. Extending the legs. Smiling at the shake in the legs. Let's try some Kapalabhati breath, forceful exhales. And slowly release, spin around 180 degrees, degrees for our favorite yoga posture, Shavasana. Corpse pose. Lay the spine flat. You can release the hair bun, cover the eyes, or you've got a little pareo, a cover you'd like to use, please do so now. Settling the spine long and flat on the mat. Hmm, we'll do some active relaxation. Engaging the right leg, pointing the right toes, lifting the right leg just for a moment. Squeeze, flop the leg. Lift the left leg, point the left toes, squeeze, flop the left. Squeeze the buttocks, lift the buttocks, but keep the belly button pushing, pushing down towards the earth. Squeeze and relax the midsection. Beautiful. Moving to the rib cage. Take a deep inhale, fill, fill, fill the lungs, fill, and then exhale, open the mouth, let all the breath go. Beautiful. Make a fist with the right hand, lift the right arm just an inch off the floor, squeeze, flop the arm. Fist with the left hand, squeeze the left arm, lift the left arm, squeeze, flop the left arm. Extending the back of the cervical spine here, chin comes in the direction of the chest, keep the back of the skull on the mat, keep lengthening the back of the neck, and relax. Turn the head and the neck from side, to side, beautiful, and back to center. Opening the mouth wide, 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 sticking out the tongue. Return the lips. Just closing the eyes, squeezing the eyelids, squeezing the temples, squeezing the forehead, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the muscles in the face, and relax and soften all the muscles in your face. Noticing now the body deepening relaxation from head to toe. Body deepens into relaxation from head to toe. Becoming aware of our breath at our nostrils, sacred entrance of breath and breathing. Become a witness an observer of the breath as it enters and exits the body at the nostrils. Use your concentration. Mm -hmm. 
Shifting awareness now to the belly button, the navel region. Watch the belly as it rises and falls with each passing breath. Again, resolve to remain witness to the breath. No need to change a thing. Simply watch the rise and fall of the belly. Together we'll count the breath backwards from 10. Inhale, navel rise at 10. Exhale, navel falls at 10. Inhale, navel rise at 9. Exhale, navel falls at 9. Stay with your count, your breath. Remain a witness simply counting the breath backwards from 10. As you approach zero, you can release the breath, release your count. Surrendering your attention now to drift freely through your consciousness. Resolving to allow everything to be exactly as it is. Let go. Benefits, practice, or effortlessly flowing to you now without needing to do anything about it. Deeply relaxed. Corpse pose, shavasana. Let's bring our attention once again to the breath and breathing. At the navel center, watch the rise and fall of the belly and gradually deepen the inhalations and exhalations in your body. And as the breath expands, you can allow the body a re-emergence, like you're coming through from a deep and restful sleep. Fingers and toes or head and nose may start to move. Or breath deepens, any natural movements or stretches arriving for you. If you prefer to remain still, please do so. So I'll meet in a comfortable side-lying position. Remaining still. 
inwardly focused, deeply relaxed. I'm grateful for amazing miracles of our body, breathing, circulation, the nervous system, our fingers and toes. Many of our human brothers and sisters don't have the full use of their hands and feet. We're grateful for the simple things in our body, the ability of our bodies to walk and talk and dance and play. Grateful, grateful for this amazing body we've been given. Strength of the hands, we can press the palms into the earth, rising comfortably up to a comfortable seat with the eyes closed, spine tall. Taking our attention to our breath and breathing at the nostrils once again. Noticing how different our breath feels in the culmination of our practice from when we first began. The journey of the breath has brought us to this place of deep stillness, and meditative awareness, grateful for the breath. And the hands together at heart level. Gesturing forward in appreciation for one another's presence and commitment to these practices, sacred practices. Closing customarily, namaste. Thank you. Thank you. Mahalo. We're living yoga, live yoga, ladies and gents. We are grateful to share these practices. We are grateful for the impact of these practices inside of our own bodies. Uh, it changes the alchemical makeup of our human experience and it uh, is a profound treat and treasure to um, perform these practices uh, for everyone and to share them with you. So we're grateful. Find us on Live Yoga channel, and we will see you again Thursday morning live for more yoga. Keep an eye out for that sup yoga session, too. I've got some videos, so I'll be doing some editing this week. We should have that up soon, too. So we're having some fun in the summer. We hope you're having fun, too. Uh, take these practices off the mat and have a lovely day. Aloha.